The Monte Iberia Aleuth is a dwarf frog, though it is often simply referred to as the Monte Iberia frog, only growing to be less than half an inch in length. In the entire world, the only frog that is quite as small is the Brazilian golden frog. As part of the Eleutheridactylid species, the Monte Iberia Aleuth, pronunciation, Monte Aihyberia Aleuth, frog can be found in eastern Cuba, though they only live in the rainforest. These frogs are no bigger than the size of a fingertip at 3 8 inch long. The head Monte Iberia frog is rather wide, though their thin fingers create quite a contrast. These dwarf frogs have a rather bitter odor. The Monte Iberia Aleuth produces a muscle paralyzing toxin to defend themselves against their many predators. Unlike other frog species, these frogs are never tadpole. Instead, they are born as a frog when they hatch from their egg. Though the name might have rather difficult pronunciation, their size and black body makes them easy to identify. The only other coloring on their back is a set of parallel yellow stripes that also go down each leg. They have a purple belly as well. Their body is also quite striking with a wide head and thin fingers the latter of which gives them their scientific name. Though other frogs may have some degree of teeth, the same is not true of this dwarf frog since they only have a few. The yellow markings serve a very distinct purpose, warning predators. In nature, the reason for bold colors is to signify a poisonous animal. This rule applies to the Monte Iberia Aleuth as well since they produce pumiliotoxins. These toxins paralyze the muscles of the predator, protecting them from being eaten. With the small size of the Monte Iberia Aleuth, there has been very little research on the frog. They tend to get around their habitat with little interference or monitoring. However, there are a few typical behaviors that have been witnessed, like their tendency to live diurnally. The dwarf frog avoids danger to the best of its ability. Whenever a noise as small as a rustle of leaves arises, they jump away and avoid the danger. When they wake at night, they keep a solitary lifestyle until they are ready to mate. The preferred environment of the Monte Iberia Aleuth is in areas with minimal soil drainage, allowing them to hide beneath leaves, ferns, and other plant life. However, they can jump away from potential threats with relative ease. One of the most unique characteristics of the Monte Iberia Aleuth is their way of communicating with high-pitched noises. Monte Iberis Aleuth prefers the climate of the tropical rainforest, but the population isn't spread out much. Most of these frogs will find their home in Cuba using the easternmost part of the area to create their home and source their food. They will live in areas as low as sea level for the moisture, though they can survive at mild elevations as well. They need a lot of humidity to thrive. These dwarf frogs like to stay fairly close to their own kind, which is why the population is condensed into two main groups. Most of them cannot be found more than 600 meters away from each other, even though they prefer to be separate from other frogs in their species until they procreate. Part of the reason that the dwarf frog gets its name is because it is found on the Monte Iberia tableland. In fact, this is the region in which the Monte Iberia Aleuth was originally discovered. The Monte Iberis Aleuth, despite its miniature size, will eat the same insect-rich diet that other frogs eat. Since they are often in moist areas, the diet naturally consists of the invertebrates that are located near these areas. The small carnivores will seek out their prey within the water bodies that they live near, allowing them to get a steady source of nutrients. The majority of the foods that they will consume include spiders, moths, and other insects. They'll also go after mites and ants for the protein that they need to keep their energy up. The dwarf frogs, due to being a very tiny size, 
have a lot of predators and form an essential part of the natural food chain. Most animals that hunt down these dwarf frogs are simply larger than them, allowing the predator to easily overcome them. However, due to the toxic substance that they release, some predators are deterred. The Monte Iberia Aleuth often is hunted by birds, toads, and fish that are local to the area. However, the poisonous chemical that it releases is often the defense it needs to elude danger. Little is known about the reproduction process of these frogs. The female releases eggs to hatch the dwarf frogs, but they are unlike other amphibians. They never start as tadpoles like other amphibians, but they are born as small frogs. Sources suggest that when the first female was found, she was spotted next to a single egg. Researchers surmise that the reproduction process usually results in fewer eggs in this species and they do not lay a lot of eggs at once, which may be part of the reason for the small population. The clutch size in these frogs is very small, potentially producing as few as one egg at a time. However, during the incubation period, both the male and the female frogs will care for their eggs until they hatch. Even when they are full grown, the dwarf frog doesn't live very long, only reaching about three years old in their lifetime. Some of the dwarf frog species only live to be one year old.